This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Old Big Sean is a crybaby, bro. He gets on here and he's like, I just want to reflect. You know, recording this album. And then he says he got the vid last week and he's crying over that. It's like, bro, grow up, man. Grow up. Okay? Like, this guy's crying. <laughs> It was hard recording this album. And I just want it to be perfect for you guys. It's like, cheese, man. I mean, how soft can you be, man? I'm trying to play his little crybaby skit here. Let me see. Here, let me see it right here. He's out quiet. He Your faith get tested, for sure. No. People can, um, You know, when you make art, <laughs> you put your heart into this shit, so. He's looking up, he's tearing up. I mean, come on. He's, drink, he's drinking too much soy milk, man. I need a second, bro. Take my time. <laughs> what, what are you doing, an acceptance speech? It is, it's like, why would you even go online if you're feeling like that? Get offline, bro. If you're gonna cry like a baby on there. You ain't showing like people give like, oh, you know, some women will be like, oh yeah, showing that emotion. You ain't trying to bag no girls, man. You you're with Janaeco. You guys have a baby. I don't know. He has his album coming out though. He is a good rapper. So, all right. So Red Lobster, they got a uh, flavor, flavor, and he's. He's promoting it online. They're, they're paying him for commercials. And he, you know, he loves Red Lobster. He went there and ordered the whole menu, I think, two or three times when he heard they were going out of business. But uh, they're closing down 23 more locations after five chapters. Now, chapter 11 is when they restructure. They probably just have too many locations. They're probably going to have to downsize. And it's funny how Red Lobster, right? isn't doing so well but you got juicy crab and they do really well i think they should change it up a little bit and say uh red lobster they gotta put the crab in there too they gotta like make it more about crab because like you know lobster's good and everything but people people go crazy for crab legs bro Yo, just turn it into like a get get a crab broil going or a shrimp broil. It was, man, you had that on the menu. <laughs> Back in business, baby. For them cheddar biscuits. I'm not a big fan of Red Lobster, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, so we got uh, Diddy and Lil Rod. He's trying to he's trying to get this case dismissed. I think this case will get dismissed. I think Little Rod. Started a started a nightmare for Diddy to be honest with you. With all the uh, accusations he made, he he sparked up a storm. Him and Cassie, they sparked a storm off for Diddy. And uh, Diddy has legal fights for the next two years easily. He's gonna be settled on a lot of cases. He's gonna have to fight though. Let's see what happens. Is Diddy a great person? Probably not. <laughs> Philadelphia police have recovered the stolen car they believe that could be linked to the killing of the rapper YBC Dull. Actually, footage came out of the actual shooting. Uh, a bus was there, and then a car pulled up alongside. You didn't see him actually getting shot, but you saw the car pull up. Some shots go out. It was a drive-by. It wasn't like he crept up. they crept up on him or anything. It was a drive-by. It was a setup. They knew he was out there. But you know what? Bro, this guy asked for it, man. I ain't gonna, like, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, no, it's so sad. It's sad for his family. He asked for this to happen, man. This is what happens when you beef with people. You start playing with the dead, disrespect him. And it's, it's too much, man. It's too much. Americans are spending more on, on sports betting than on investments. This is an easy reason. You got, you got podcasts like, and then no no shade. I, I love Cameron and Mesa's things, but it's a sports betting commercial. 
um, anybody that's down with steak, sports betting commercial. Anybody that, um, what you got, Gillian Wallow, they're they're with uh, Barstool Sports betting, you know, there's the, some sports betting thing they were pushing. Everybody's pushing sports betting. Everybody, man. Aiden Ross, everybody, man. At stake, you know, so it's like, you know, it's like Drake's pushing sports betting. They're not pushing investing in companies and stuff like that. They're pushing sports betting. Jada Kiss sports. Everyone's the, the rap is pushing rap. Hip hop is pushing sports betting. It is what it is. Fourteen billion dollars, juice. Uh, this girl was how? What video was she in? It says right here. The video where Drake marries everybody. Falling back. And she talks about that experience where, like, Drake had to flew all these girls out. If you pulled your camera out, you were sent home. If you got too drunk, you were sent home. You couldn't have your cam- camera. No phones for five days. And uh, the video wasn't that crazy, but so he was, it was, like was kind of like a cult, to <laughs> be honest. <laughs> it was weird. Did he bring his dogs there? What? She was the baddest in the video. This girl was the baddest. Um, little Woody, man. Little Wood, no Diddy. He's doing uh, 20 B ones. I think he did Fan Bus. Of course, you know I just saw the the preview of him like with the girls there. I ain't watching that. But why does everybody want him and everything? Why? Because he's he's like. Slow? He's slow. He's funny on the stand, but he's also a snitch. Snitches are snitching is popular, bro. It's popular to be a snitch now. He's getting more. I don't even know who this guy was before. All right, so uh, we got Jalen Brown. Man, this always happens, man. Rappers want. I mean, ballers want to be rappers. Remember Ron Artest, he was trying to always be a rapper. Kobe, Shaq. I love Shaq, though, man, so I ain't gonna shade Shaq. Shaq was, Shaq's just, he does everything. Uh, Jalen Brown does a rap song with ASAP Ferg. The video looks good, but the song is trash. ASAP Ferg should stop doing stuff like this. He should really focus back on his career. Because, like, it's about to slip away from me, bro. You're sl- you're about to lose your whole career. Like you've been taking too much time off. Little Zay Osama lets his fans know he appreciates all the support while he's locked up. Man, this guy loves jail, man. <laughs> this guy's always in jail. Uh, oh man, this was dope. I yo when I first saw this, I, I meant to talk about this yesterday. When I first saw this sculpture, I thought it was actually uh, old footage of Nipsey. Like when I just saw a picture of it. That is, that guy who created this is super talented. He's good, bro. That looks just like Nipsey. That's crazy. That's, it's, I don't even know how he did that. That is nuts. Um, No Limit Cairo arrested for having a switch. It's over for him. Uh, modified handgun. While, dri- while driving a stolen vehicle on top of that. You gotta be kidding, man. Driver license expired. Bro, you are just a mess. Sheesh. The dumb reason to go to jail. Meek Mill did more freestyles. You know, so he did all the Kendrick and, Dr- Kendrick and Drake beats from the beef for practice. Bro, you need more practice, bro. You're, you're, it was trash. It was horrible. A lot of people were saying it's the most flagrant freestyle Meek Mill's ever spit. Now he's walking around shopping doing it. He's Joel's status, man. Him and Joel should do an album. They should be, be a group. Monica and Kodak Black hanging out at his show. They might be dating. Who knows? Monica likes... 
she hasn't seen murder. She dated him for a while. She, she that was right up her lane. Don't be, yo. I know they put out something today where like, oh, Lil Wayne is not beefing with Drake. He posted the song. That doesn't mean they don't like each other. That, that there's, I don't think Lil Wayne messes with Drake like that like, right now. They never did. They don't really like do music together no more. They hang out once in a while. They bump. They bump into each other. But there's a love hate relationship going on there. They're always going to be unified. Nikki, Nikki and Drake don't get along really like that. Drake plays funny games. I think. I think Drake plays funny games with everybody because it seems like everybody just doesn't like Drake as much. Now, Little Wayne's never going to turn his back on Drake. Little Wayne's has different morals and principles and Nikki would probably never speak on it and I respect that they keep all this quiet but like everything's messed up with cash money young money like look at Birdman Wayne ain't messing with Birdman like the same he did before because of the money issues they resolved it doesn't mean everything's good once the damage is done on something the trust is never there again it's like say you cheat on your girl or your girl cheats on you we're gonna be the same you broke that trust that's why you gotta decide when you're with I, I, how I, cheat on a girl? I I usually break up with a girl before I cheat on her if I'm with her if I'm just dating it doesn't matter you know but it's like you don't want to break that trust because you'll never get that back it's over you'll never get it back the same Yeah, that's that man. Um, this is Jordan Tal with J Teams. Yo, Big Sean used to grow up. Seriously, bro. I, I can't stand when people cry on the internet. Cry and but there's nothing wrong with crying. But crying on the internet is like, dude, what are you trying to get sympathy from everybody so they buy their album? I, I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, man. Jordan Tower with JT News. I have no idea what I'm going to title this video. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Jordan, Jordan Tower. Tower. New, 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 new.